Hi folks, uh, from children, Children's TV in the 50s. Are you all sitting comfortably? Then I'll begin. Right, I did this one yesterday for Patreon and it's, it's had favourable reviews. One person was sort of fabulous, but I, yeah, not really, it's not really what I had intended. It, it was quite a difficult one. It, it went on into the second video because the camera, my camera will go up to an hour then it'll split so I'll, if this goes past an hour I'll split it into the second video but um, I like the idea of it but I want to I want to um, sort of mono it a bit and, I, and here's my palette uh, cadmium red, cadmium red light that's a griffin colour, the alkyd resin alizarin crimson uh, ultramine, ceridium emerald green, viridian Pale yellow, cadmium, cadmium medium, bit of yellow ochre, uh, a bit of medium. This is these are oils, and I don't normally do oils because I don't really like the solvents that clean with and so on. But it's, it's not too bad. So obviously, here we go. I am taking medication for the old COPD, so I've got a big cloth here. So I'll, I'm going to use these bright, bright these brights. I think because I want sort of small, small strokes. So that's what's going to take a long time. But I'll put in some background, I'll do something with this because I wasn't really happy. I think I've probably used a bit too much white, but uh, well, we'll see what we come up with. So, a bit, bit of medium. This I've got two coats of varnish on this, like acrylic varnish, but the acrylic will, will, is, a, is a sealer anyway and it will do as a primer. So we'll put in a bit of, bit of this red at the top here, let's just see, see how we go. Well, I'll put in little bits of colour in between and this will take quite a bit of time as you can see but we're putting lighter colours in, in between that then now this won't dry very quickly but you do need a lot of quite a bit of oil Just get a bit of paint on. We'll see how we go, and I'll, I'll put some yellow to it, make it a bit brighter, and a bit of bit of white. And I'll go over the edges. We'll slowly work our way into this, and I'll add a bit of yellow to that. And we're getting getting lighter. Using yellow to lighten the, the red. So a bit of cad, the light cadmium. One of the great painters of like Monet type style is Arthur Madison. Look him up, he's a fantastic artist. But he paints very broadly now, we did. He's in my age. And he he used to do this uh, pointillism, well not pointillism, just these just smaller strokes. And he had great success with it, but I think he got fed up with it. With doing it over time, be like like uh, Surat, they packed up because it was taking too long. But I'm going to just work away with these with more broad strokes. Let's get that coming down here. We'll change the shape of that. I'm going to probably, well, we'll see how we go. Let's just get this bit in. I can go over it all. And I'm using a, a walnut based oil alkyd, with alkyd resin. A bit of white now. Bit of yellow. And the alkyd version will help it to dry a bit, so let's that will change the shape of that. Come into lighter. Now 
it's the greens I, I, I wasn't happy with here. I, and I think, um, oh, how do you like the setup? You can see me doing it all. I can't do it in the, in the landscape format, it won't work. I just, the camera won't go far enough away. Nice cup of coffee. They're smooth. We can always always put a bit of bit of um, bit, bit, bit of a very faint uh, mauvey colour in there, which would complement the yellows. It's, uh, down and I'll put the red back in here. <clears throat> sort of that coming around there a bit. But well we can open it up a little bit. Right, I'm going to just clean the brush. I'm not going to dip it in any fluid. I won't do that till right to the very end. But with so that's only just a, a, a rough bit. I want to shape the bring these one of these. Well, I want to put some bells coming out into that sky. So let's do a bit of bit of a liz lizard, load of a lizard, touch of ultra. We can get some of that in there. Hardly shows. Mix it with a bit of the alkyd based medium so that it'll help, help it dry. Some of that colour in here, otherwise it's just too flat, and it's, uh, it's not really what we're after. We're after lots of colour, complementary colours. Well, I sold a painting on Etsy yesterday. There's quite a few I've sold since I went on the channel. But I posted one which is not will not be on it, see, and it's that it's my uh, Seago Norfolk scene. That it was a, I, I, it was my sky, but a, but it's a Seago. I lent very heavily on for the landscape, I must say. But it was a copy, but it turned out to be a bit of a, a really good copy. Well, not a copy. I it wasn't slavishly copied. Just put some of this light in there. Vary the sort of shape of the brush strokes. Mm -hmm. 
all right, okay, that's that I do for a for moment. Uh, all right, let's try some. Let's try some greens. Some uh, a bit of a bit of emerald, a bit of the uh, a touch of light red in there. Let's see what happens. So that's bright already. You know. Ah, that's more like it. And the darks, I would be a lizard and crimson mixed with some viridium. That's uh, the uh, cad yellow with that, uh, that lovely uh, emerald green. These are these all students, they're all Cotman colours. Well, Winton, shall I say, not Cotman, the Winton. Winton. We'll get, let's get a bit of darker green in it. Let's have a bit of a uh, Change the green into a sort of a Monet green. A bit darker. Let's, I want to bring that one out there. I'll put the uh, trunks in later. I'll put them in probably dark with a bit of light on. Not so sure about that. Some some of that cad red. All different greens, blues, reds. Have some. Well, we could have some ochre in there. Do we want ochre in there? Yeah, yeah, this could do. Bit of white, bit of medium. And with some light coming through. Let's get some dark greens in there, so Viridian. A really and some cad yellow. Oops. It's a dark green I want. So about silence. But I'm sort of concentrating and so I have yellow and alizarin. 
Got a bit of a bit of warm colour in there. Get a bit of shadow in some of these areas here, but we're just little little bits. It's not that slow a process, but it's just a bit different there. Oop. My camera cable got caught up in the brush. Right, let's go and do something else now. Let's uh, put some of that, those colours in on the other side. That red, red in there, just to make it more livy. All right, I'm just going to move that that over. Just putting a bit of bit of light back in there. I'll go over a lot of it, but it's just a bit too green. It was too green before. It was all it was all monotonous. Bit of red, bit of yellow. So you can cover quite a lot of ground quite quickly doing this, even with a small brush. Let's get to... Well, I apologise to those of Patreon that uh, <laughs> their painting no longer exists. But, but it does in fact, it's, it's formed the basis of something else, hasn't it? Let's mix a bit of, bit of alizarin with a bit of ochre, so let's get some light back in here. Just covering. See, it's, it's sticking all right, it's, it's, it's drying in part. some of that colour, that's nice Viridian, fish Viridian. So it's council change, I'll put some more red on the, in the outline of that because it, it will look too, it was too too regular before. Oh, let's just come down here, bushes.
there, it's just putting some light. No green, uh, I was going to say no greens, but I'm making up the greens from these two emerald and, and um, viridium. And we can get lights in there. Um, get some light coming through the trees, open it up a little bit. And the trunks I should do with the edge of, edge of this brush, I might, I might be, get away with uh, just one brush. Let's touch the edges of that with the with the orangey colour. I quite like my palette being there, I usually hold it. I might put a bit of a halo around it with in, in dark. I am looking at a modern. I'll show you what I'm looking at. I've got a big book on one now. Oh, there we go. That one on the right. That's that's what I'm aiming for. Something like that. But of course, I'm not a master. Monet was the master. Let me brush. That's not the one I was using. I don't know. soften because that, that light is so strong that red daybreak or whatever you want to call it daybreak dawn a new day That's, I'll, I'm going to undercut that with some of that colour. Now, that's, oh, I'm quite pleased with that way that's coming up. But I, it's just the shape of those, the uh, shape of these I don't think was very good. Uh, let's get some Cajello. I do love oil paints, so I've said that so many times. But it's so versatile. It's, I might go down the rain softener if I get time and uh, get some more of these brights up. Try to obliterate what's underneath there. Oh, that's looking better. It's 
work away. How's the time? Oh, I bet I haven't done my coffee, I haven't. 25 minutes. I don't think I'm going to manage to complete this in, in, in one session, but it doesn't matter. It's, um, it might be all the better for it. Look at a bit of orange in there. So it's all, it's all very gentle. So we can just paint that out. Oh, I'm let dry off a little bit there. I was watching a guy called uh, David Dunlop, he's an American painter who teaches, he's wonderful. Um, the things I didn't didn't know that Monet would paint for an hour, and then go off somewhere else, do something else, waiting for his paint to dry. Do I? Then he would come back and carry on. Right, let's get some some alizarin and some. some ochre. Uh, we're putting some of this in here. See once I've got it all covered I can I can go over and put more lights and darks in and more try brilliance it up a bit. Some of these lovely yellows. Light against darks as far as we can at this stage. I might leave the uh, the finish to the second bit to, to bring it all together. That's a bit. That's much better. This is this coming on there. I'll do a bit on there now. So we'll use that yellow ochre. We can have a bit of viridian with the yellow ochre. It's a good mix. And we can some light in there. Oh, let's put a little bit of, bit of dark in there. I've got to sort all this out, but so I think we can uh, just come down with a bit of bit of light in here. Oh, no, a bit of dark, really. So let's have Viridian. Let's try a bit of Cad Red. Because we've got to counter change some of this, uh, the lights on the reeds sticking up. Right, 
Let's go in with a. See what happens here. Okay, some, some orangey colour. This thing gets in the way. Let's have some change of directions. in the light there. So a bit of red in that, a bit of orange. So I pick up some of the colour in the sky go through here. I did one years ago, I'll see if I can dig it out for you. I'll do that in a minute, in a moment, just... Right, just excuse me, well, I, I just got to have a, have a look, see if I can find it. I might have shown it to you before, but I'll have it this here. Arthur Madison in uh, in its look. There's some sheep in there. There's a guy on his bike. Big foreground, but using all those complementary colours. The I've got some cobalt blue somewhere, or cobalt violet. I might even put some of that in because that's quite a. Yeah, I'm not, I've, still, I've still got these tubes from 20 years ago. These great big tubes. I have to use pliers to uh, open the tubes, tubes, and then. Sealed them again with a, some cling film and uh, oh, I've got this sticky stuff there. The resin has uh, leaked out of it. So let's put it out again. It's a very weak colour. Now, I've sold you many times don't overdo your colours, your number of colours, it just makes for confusion. But as you get more experience, you'll know what you can put out and what you can get away with that won't uh, cause confusion, well not too much, I get confused as well. But let's see, let's put in, I'm, I'm still using the same brush, a uh, bit of yellow with that, I think there's always a good mixer with a bit of yellow. Complements the uh, the yellows, so I'll put some in here. Make some reds in with it. Mm -hmm. oh, that's quite an interesting colour. A very bit of red to it as well. Thank you. 
It mixes very well with uh, other colours. Oh, we've got a sort of a murky green, which is nice, because that is a shadowy green. So that is a, that's a good dark. It's it's got plenty of colour in it, but it shows up as a shadowy colour. But there's a lot of colour in it. light coming through from somewhere. They're putting a bit of yellow in against those violets. Yeah, there are loads of colour in that. I need to bring that, open that bottom up now. I'm not happy with that. So I'll carry on with this brush, just give it a good squeeze out. Just changing that shape subtly. Now we can get some greens. minutes to go on this. I'm loving these greens. See, this, just using the um, emerald and the uh, viridian gives you a huge range of tones rather than using sap green or hooker screen but it's up to you what you use. I'm just doing this for myself here. A bit of white in that. Some of that light yellowy ready colour to just to poke through here and there. I 
I'm not sure whether I want to take that in or that out, but I'll uh, try and see what happens. So a bit of red, a bit of yellow. With that, we can put a bit of a uh, colour on the uh, the Try to put some some of that skylight back in the in the leaves. Not quite working yet, but it probably needs a bit of darker green. So let's go for a dark green. Let's uh, see what happens with that. A bit, a bit of ochre in there, I think. You know what I mean, Pio? You can just work away at this for forever. I said that yesterday about the original. What's underneath it? it? Needs to dry off a bit there, I think, because I, I want to get that light back in there, and I that's that's better. But I want still want some lighter greens in there. Bit of white. I think Monet did it with uh, putting, putting this halo around. Just, just sort of highlight the edge a little bit, but I was trying to put in the sky in the tree. And a nice dark colour. Uh, sure, that is. No, dark, let's have a blue in there. Keeping away from the, uh, the black. Quiet. 
Good luck. I'll put some lights in here as well. You can't with these the fitches, but the only the bright is wearing out. Oh, let's put in a bit of light in there. Ah, oh, that won't take light yet, it's too wet. Okay. Bit of red in there. I've got to thicken this up here because we've got a, a, a whacking great tree here going all the way up to the sky. There's quite a lot of that uh, cobalt violet. So it's 25 past 11, we've got 12 minutes, 11 minutes to go on this. Add some colour on there, some ready oakery. I'll clean the palette before I go and have a break and come back and play this afternoon a little bit. Quite hard to do. I hope my head's not getting in the way.
No paint's grey or, or, or black, though it's a wonderful mixer with the yellows. But uh, got a bit dark on there, on there. That's coming on, that's quite good. Let's uh, go over to here and do a bit, bit, bit of uh, over here. Change the colour there. So a bit of dark colour. Uh, cord out of the way. Now um, some light colour. Probably need another tree in there, but I'm quite pleased with that. I'm quite excited by that. 55. Well, I'm going to call it a, uh, call it an end of the session there. Thanks for for looking, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.